here at Egg Works. Our this place is pretty good. I wasn't in the mood for eggs. But I'm on a mission to find good, good biscuits and gravy. I ain't had that in a while, so I figured I'd come check it out. So we'll see. It's a pretty nice little place. It's a little noisy inside. I'm sitting outside. They have a little al fresco kind of deal going on here. The only problem is this is where the planes land. It's on the corner of Sunset and Eastern. And that spirit plane you saw fly by was a little loud. <laughs> if I gave me a heart attack, I wasn't ready for it. Yeah. I'm gonna give me some bits and some gravy today. And then I'm gonna head to the Orleans today to play some cards. They got pretty good promotions over there from what I hear, so we're gonna check them out. So what do you think of the hat? I got the hat from my brother and sister-in-law that went to Alcatraz. They bought me this hat because they said it fit me. And I bought a new hoodie. I came to the realization I had like two hoodies and the weather has been chilly, but not cold enough to wear one of my big old jackets. So I went and bought two hoodies. I bought this one. I like the camo stuff, obviously. Just sneaks up on you. You don't hear nothing until it's right there and then it's But yeah, I figured with all this gray I got going on here, wear a gray hat, grayish hoodie. I match for once. So I'm gonna eat this food and uh, let you know how it is. Hope it's good. I'm hungry. I don't know about eating biscuits and gravy before going to play a session of poker. I mean, Homer doesn't make me tired. I might have to go get like a sugar-free Red Bull or a coffee or something. So when you guys are watching this, it'll be Thanksgiving morning. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you get to spend some time with your family and have a great day. Well, I do have to say with the planes going by, if you're into plane spotting, you know what that is, where you go and watch the planes come flying. It's a good spot. Sit here and chill, eat, watch the planes go by. It's pretty neat to see them that close. I didn't, when you see them way up in the air, they don't seem like they're moving that fast. And you know they're going 500 miles an hour, but I think it's cool. That's much better. Put the eggs right on top. It's a lot better. I just couldn't eat it all. It didn't look like a lot of food, but a lot. I'm full. The, where is it? Can't see it. It's good. It's good. It was good. It was good. Ah, right, so like I said, it was good. Fills me up, but I don't really eat that much, to be honest with you. I mean, I can if I want to, but you know, have a poker session. I'm gonna be all like weighed down and feeling tired and wanting to take a nap when I'm supposed to be playing cards. So I guess uh, we'll give it a little score. I mean, the food was good. It wasn't like fantabulous or nothing like that. So I give the food like an eight. Atmosphere it was kind of loud inside. That's why I asked to sit outside uh, It was good besides the plane noise which freaked me out, but it was actually pretty cool seeing those planes that close so I'd give that about an eight. Yeah Service kitchen was messing up a little bit you could tell the waitress was getting frustrated, but It happens it's gonna happen everywhere So overall I give it about a eight ish out of ten. It was good 
I liked it. It's hot in this car now. What's the temperature? 73 degrees. It was like 50 something this morning when I put this hat on and this hoodie. And now it's 73 and I'm starting to get hot. Alright. Going to head over to the Orleans and play some cards. Let's go. compare their mattresses to Tempur-Pedic mattresses. What does that tell you? Yeah, I'm here. I can honestly say I've never been here before. Even when I used to live here, I've never been here. This should be interesting. This is definitely old school Vegas right here. Definitely a New Orleans vibe in this place. Kind of makes me want to go back to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. Get a card. It took 30 minutes. Had a three hour session, and it's still light out. But I got stuff to do, so I have to go. <laughs> a three-hour session. I win $33. Yep, that's it. $33. Had one hand noteworthy that I'm talking about. The one hand that was noteworthy was I had uh, pocket tens in on the button. I raised it up. I do believe 12 pre-flop. Got four callers. Flop was king nine ten, two hearts. So person, uh, let's see which person was that? Small blind, no big blind. Big blind bet out twenty. Two callers gets to me. I raise, of course. You got two hearts on the board. Flop was set, no straight. Yeah, you know you could have had queen jack, but I re raise to fifty five. Small boy calls, one player folds, and the, what is it, the hijack, the dude next to me, calls. Turn was three of clubs, they all checked to me. I'm sitting with, a, I wanna say, about 160, I think. So I bet half my stack. I'm not sure I didn't write it down. I should have wrote it down. The exact number was probably somewhere about 80. And a uh, small blind shoves all in. Hijack next to me folds. I obviously call. I flip over the pocket tens. He shows me ace king of hearts. I'm like, damn. You need help. River, 10 for quads. I was like, yay. So I want a $50, you know, prize, we'll call it, for the quads. I was sitting with 460, something like that. And then uh, a couple hands later, you know, I got pocket kings, raise it up. I three bet, and I was, uh, I was under the gun plus one. I bet it. Somebody re-raised it. I re-raised it again. They called. Flop obviously had an ace. This place has like nothing but regs in it. So, you know, they're all older. I was by far the youngest person at the table. So I knew he had the ace. So I take the king, flip him up, throw him in the muck. He shows me the ace. Okay, right call. Save some money on that one. Lost money, but I saved money. Not two hands later. Kings. Again, raise that crap up. 20 pre flop. Get four callers. You got to be kidding me. Flop is ace, jack, jack. Well, shit. I obviously check it. Dude, next, uh, dude on my left, which was what, under the gun plus two, just bet like 40 and the other two call. And I'm like, you, you got to be kidding me. 
Ergo, the king's in the muck again. That's kind of how the rest of that time went after that. Pocket pairs hit nothing. Lost one pot. I had jack ten of clubs. Two cubs on the flop. Guy was already kind of short anyway. I think he started the hand with like 60. And I had two clubs on the flop. Had a straight draw. Gut shot straight draw. He bet. I put them all in. He instantly called me. And I did not improve one little bit. So that's kind of how the day went. I end with a profit of $33 after three hours. So $11 an hour, whatever. I don't care. I didn't lose, so I'm all right. So uh, <clears throat> the Orleans sure has the uh, New Orleans vibe to it. The sun's coming around the corner. Can you see it? As far as the poker room, not a big fan. I mean, I don't care where I play. I honestly don't. It's just the dealers were, you know, flipping cards left and right. I mean, it seemed like the, the more the session went on, every dealer that came over was older and older and older. And Christ, by the time I left, that poor woman looked like she was about 80 years old. I mean, it's a good thing that they're still working, but damn. It's slow, messing the pots up, flipping cards. You know, it's... It is what it is. It's an off-strip casino. They're not going to pay the dealers as much or whatever. I don't know what the problem is, but not a big fan. So who knows? I'll probably come back eventually, but not probably for a little while. <laughs> so yeah, so the Kings didn't work. Kings don't work at no, the Orleans. They don't work. There's a couple other players that had Kings too. Didn't work for them either. So remember, if you come to or the Orleans, don't play them kings. Just, just muck them. Save some money. <laughs> anyway, I got crap to do. I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving because this will come out on Thanksgiving morning. And uh, I have to go and uh, take care of the mutt, which I kind of feel bad because I forgot that today is Zeus's birthday. I think he's like six years old now. I'm going to go get him some treats or something and, you know, spoil him more than I already spoil him. But anyways, if you like my videos, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about it, share the videos, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.